Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bruno from the BTN HD. And yes, uh, this is kind of a quick tip. Uh, I think the last video that I did for you guys was around the 18th. I recorded on the 18th uh, showing you guys how to uh, pick a certain product to update within your SCCM. When I showed you guys the WCM log as well as the W uh, Sync Manager log, I was receiving a lot of red errors. And I did some research. One of you guys left a comment, which was pretty awesome. Uh, it, it was that, but I had to do a little different on uh, what you kind of suggested at the comment section. But uh, I, because I had to investigate a little bit more within my log. Now, the first thing that I needed to fix within the error log was within my WCM, it was trying to connect to my WSL server using port 80. And uh, port 80 should not be used because that's used most likely for your IIS. It should be 8530. So when I went inside my SCCM console and I went inside administration and I went to uh, servers, site, and system roles, and I right click on my software update point and I go to properties, and port the port number was 80. When I changed it to 8530 and I went inside software library, and I right click on all software updates and I initiated uh, the sync. Like right now, I'm gonna try to initiate the sync. Once I clicked on that, it looked like it was working, right? So I'm gonna close these two logs up, close that up, because then today, when I looked at the WSync manager, I was able to connect, but I was still receiving that error. I was still receiving this other sync error. So I was able to communicate with no problem using the port, which was pretty awesome. I was happy. I was happy I was able to communicate with no problem. So let's go to WCM. As you guys can see right here, look at that. Attempting to connect to the WSS server, my server, port 8530, successful. Right? So that's awesome. So the next thing was, how can I fix this problem? How can I fix the sync failed issue? Again, one of the one of my subscribers or one of my viewers left a comment saying you have to delete the WSUS console from the server, then delete the software distribution folder, which is where WSUS kind of drops all its content in, then reinstall the WSUS console within server manager, and then do it that way. I didn't do it that way. And the reason why I didn't do it that way, because one, the installation of my WSUS console was successful, plus I was able to open it up with no problem, and I saw updates. So it, there was something going on with the updates. So what I did was I, I, I just opened up my command prompt and I ran the following three commands. I stopped the WSUS services. I deleted the software distribution and then I started again. Once you restart or start your WSUS services again, this software distribution is going to pop up automatically for you. So I didn't really need to remove the WSUS console and restart my machine and do all that stuff again. Once I did that, I went inside my SCCM console, went to all software updates, right clicked on it, and I synchronized the software updates. So when I did that, I had to go inside my log. So this is right here, the one that says fixed. So these are the logs right here. I go to WSYNCs right there. And then when you go all the way to the bottom, it's synchronizing. Yes, that's awesome. And if we go to the, what is it, uh, WCM log, again, no errors. So this is old logs, and the way that I know it's working is you go inside my SCCM, you see updates. That's awesome, right? But let's check out the logs right now that are located within my uh, SCCM folder. So let's go Program Files, Microsoft Configuration Manager. Let's go into the logs, and if we go into the logs, there we go. Awesome. And let's go to WCM. WCM, uh, the last error was at 929. This is when I was trying to fix the problem. But once I fixed the problem, everything was successful. Awesome. And if I go inside the WSync Manager, it's still syncing. It's live. It looks like it's syncing right now while I'm talking with you guys. So that's pretty awesome. So the things that you need to do once you get that system failed connection kind of problem that I received with my WSUS is make sure that your SCCM is uh, talking to the correct port. For me, it went to 80. Uh, once I changed it to 8530, it was fixed. 
you know, the connection between the SCCM and WSUS, that connection was established with no problem. But to uh, kind of fix the synchronization issue, uh, for me, I just ran those three commands. I just ran these three commands right here. I'm going to show you guys real quick. So I stopped the WSUS services. I deleted the software distribution and I started the services again. Once you start the services again, the software distribution folder is going to create by itself. You don't have to do anything. And then that's it. Just go inside your SCCM console, go inside software library, all software, right click and go inside synchronized software updates. And it takes some time depending on how many softwares you have. And right now it's doing it. I'm happy. Hopefully you guys enjoy this tip. If you have any questions or comments, leave it at the bottom of the video. And I'll catch you guys on the next SCCM video. Peace out.